play and walk this way. I'm good. All right. I might look a little tired to you guys. Uh, I walked 10 kilometers today. First, I walked a 5K for irritable bowel syndrome, and then a 5K for muscular dystrophy. I hate exercise, but sometimes I do things I don't like just for shits and cripples. <laughs> I'll tell you this, uh, I'm not the most confident guy. tell you this, uh, I'm not the most confident guy, that's a fact. Uh, the first time my wife and I were going to have sex, I said, I was so nervous, I said, I'll try, but I'm probably not going to satisfy you. It's rough on a relationship when you suffer from premature emasculation. And you know what? I don't know why we're together, my wife and I, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I can imagine the phone calls she had with her girlfriend when we first started dating. Girl, he's got a body like a potato. <laughs> mm. He is a 26-year-old single father with crippling debt and the legs to match. Dang. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know why she keeps coming out with me, or at least at the time I didn't know. I was like, does she think that she's my hostage? And like, her parents just don't want to pay to get her back? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's worked out for me, because this fall we'll be celebrating seven years of Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah. And the tough thing about that is, uh, if you want to buy a card for it, you can only buy it from ISIS. <laughs> and I don't know if you know anything about ISIS, but they charge Americans an arm and a head. <laughs> tell you that. Um, a little bit more about me. I was a chef for a long time. Uh, for 10 years, with heart and soul and passion, I cooked for many, many people. And then I ended up working at a little restaurant called Golden Corral. <laughs> and you don't get to call yourself a chef after you work at a place named at a, after a place they keep livestock. For God's sakes. They called it a corral, which is literally a place you trap herds of dumbass animals and force feed them all you can eat slop. <laughs> all I'm saying is normal restaurant managers don't have to hang out signs that say, congrats on quitting rehab, Kenny. <laughs> I went to culinary school for this. I'll tell you this. Uh, I was so embarrassed that I worked there, I wouldn't tell my kids where I went for the day. They kept asking and asking. And I said, uh, yeah, I make corn for little people www.shortcomings.com <laughs> Yeah, that was an awkward career day. I gotta tell you, I don't think I'm getting invited back. <laughs> Being 37 uh, is a little bit different. Like, I don't do drugs anymore, unless I want to. Um, and But now I just get high and eat Grand Flakes and watch Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> it's real sad. My favorite drink is uh, a vodka and Metamucil. <laughs> I just, it keeps my wings regular, and I tell you, that's pretty nice. <laughs> otherwise, one starts flapping and you go sideways. <laughs> so, uh, I go to a free dentist now, which has a lot of perks, a lot of perks. For one, I don't make appointments anymore. I just wait till he gets home from the bar, two in the morning, he texts me, you up? I'm like, all right, I'll come watch Netflix. So I go to his apartment, and uh, 
It's free, no copay. Don't judge me. But it is a little weird when you wake up from a teeth cleaning and you're wearing a bathrobe all of a sudden. <laughs> you sitting on the futon smoking a cigarette. Oh God. There's lots of nice things though. Uh, I go to one place and he checks my teeth and my prostate. <laughs> And he's got a little sign on the door that says, you can't spell root canal without anal. <laughs> so then, uh, the other service is going downhill there, a little bit. Um, he, uh, he was kind of hustling me out the door. And I said, hey, what's the rush? And he said, well, I got to get ready for my day job working at Golden Corral. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I've been Mike Williams. Woo!